Hookup. All right. So when you have that hookup energy, it's like you, you're thinking maybe you're just going to meet someone and you're going to build. It's not like that. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. It's not like that. This is going to go off. Go the F off. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This is going to go off. I don't think either one of you are expecting this attraction to be so heavy. That's why that magnetic attraction card comes out. Look, I split the deck and I got King of Wands. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's like the, look, Ace of Cups. That's It's gonna be a love reading. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. If we, I mean, if something else comes out, that we will read that. Okay. So let's see. Overall energy and love for my Scorpios at this time. Ooh, two cards came out. Yin Yang. Y'all been getting this a lot lately. Man with a coin. All right. All right. Some y'all get a man with some coin. Who is the? His who is your other half person? And <laughs> door to personal healing and happiness. You all you have to do is walk through the door. That's what they're saying here. Thinking woman. You've been thinking about this person already. Some of you, if you're a woman, if you're now, if you're not a woman, you're a man. Well, then you are ready to offer something to someone that has also been thinking about you. Little do you know. Um, I think you both know this, though. I really do. If you're yin and yang, it means you've already started resonating with each other on a higher level. Um, this could be somebody who you have telepathically been communicating with Scorpios or you know y'all just know you just know you just know like this is gonna work you already know you already thought about this you already analyzed it you you probably tired of thinking about it for real um but this is going what they're telling you is this is gonna open a door to a new life this is like the, your perfect dream life on the other side of this and this person is on board they're ready to offer you something solid they also want to offer you this person could be wealthy, they could have money, but they also, it just means they're grounded. They're ready to go for the long haul. They want to see where this goes. This person could be very good looking, very attractive. They could have a lot of admirers. They could be very well dressed. They could be very well groomed. You could be the more bookwormish one, the weird one. Um, you might wear your heart on your sleeve. They like that about you. You could be more passionate. You're changing too, though. You're growing too. You're learning how to be more um heart centered and this person is learning how to be more assertive so already the connection worked yin yang it worked already Ooh, ex lover okay so some of you this is what wanted to come out memories from the past old flame and nostalgic some of y'all this could be someone coming back from your past that wants to heal things with you a lot of you though um i'm seeing yin and yang so i'm seeing that represents an eclipse they had to eclipse an ex from their past you had to eclipse an ex from your past that means remove them from your life in order to make room for this person and what it's doing is it's bringing someone in who's solid that's going to ask you out on a date take it how it resonates a lot of you i don't think it's an ex but it is somebody where maybe in the past it never took off it's somebody you never dated before this because i'm looking at a first date here okay there's a the magnetic attraction. What'd I say? You already know, been thinking about this person. Maybe you couldn't, maybe if it's an old flame, it's somebody you could never forget again, but you never dated. Um, under that, we have soulmate. That's that yin to your yang. It's saying irresistible, alluring, ir flirtation, lust, courting, dating, anniversary, meeting up. After you eclipse the past, you guys could be getting some new friends out of this. You could meet through friends. You could become friends first. You could choose to just be friends first because the attraction is so heavy. Okay. Somebody could need, could need, once meeting you, they could need to make sure they're rid of the past. So you decide to be friends first. Travel. You guys could be traveling together in the future. What else does Scorpio need to know in love? This person wants a family. They want a family with you. So look, X lover, this, I also would say, tell me more about this X lover, snake. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is you're nothing like the X. They're nothing like your X, but there is an X here in the reading. We can, we cannot overlook the X. Okay. So what I'm saying is though this person may try, do not let them overlook the X. All right. They have a lot of fear when it comes to that, but do not let them do it. Do not let them do it. Scorpio and you better not do it either. All right, so what's the magnetic attraction between these two? This person does want to have a baby with you or a family with you, though. Crossroads. They're at a crossroads. Yeah, it's saying they have other choices, but they're only choosing you. They have other choices. You both have other choices. In the past, maybe they were indecisive. 
But they're at a turning point now because they're a magnetic, magnetic attraction to you. What's the friend's card? What's the friend's card? Ooh, two. So unexpectedly, you might, like I said, you, some of you might meet this person through friends or they might just tell you with liquid courage, bravery, confidence, or odd behavior that, you know, I don't want to be your friend, Scorpio. I, I, don't, I don't want to be your friend. Somebody could feel their finances are in the way of the connection. Maybe have money, having money problems at the moment. This person has coins. So that's a message from the divine saying, you better share, you better share your, you better, you better tell them what's going on with you. Clar clarify thinking, woman, change. So you're kind of worried if this is the change, if this changes the metaphor, it's going to be, it's going to be the metamorphosis you were looking for. Is this going to be the growth or the cycle you were looking for? This person is single. Okay. Um, but it's going to be shocking to you how unusual and unpredictable this person is, is. You're not going to be ready for like, yeah, they're not going to let you go, Scorpio. They say it's not over, back and forth. They have baggage, but they don't care. They'll get rid of their baggage, whatever. Like, what do you need me to do? That's what I'm here. What do you need me to do? I'll do it. I'll change for you. New love. Yeah, because you're the person they're finding, they're in love with. Again, they want to travel somewhere with you. Maybe take you on a vacation. Vacation, you know. <laughs> Honeymoon phase, childlike moving on, new beginning. So what I'm getting is overwhelmingly, let's get one more card before I talk, one more card. What Scorpio needs to know most about this new love? Storm warning, they come in like a storm. That's what I'm getting. It's not just a hookup. All right, so when you have that hookup energy, it's like you, you're thinking maybe you're just gonna meet someone and you're gonna build. It's not like that. It's not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not like that. This is going to go off, go the F off, okay? That's what I'm saying, this is gonna go off. I don't think either one of you are expecting this attraction to be so heavy. That's why that magnetic attraction card comes out. Look, I split the deck and I got King of Wands. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's like the, look, Ace of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Like, this, Scorpio, this is something, you're, neither one of you are ready for the speed at which this is like, uh, we met last night and we're at Vegas tomorrow and we eloped. Like, y'all don't want to be apart. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of grief, remorse, and regret the minute you, you part. This is the this is the this is the telling me the nitty gritty details. This is saying you can't fight it, Scorpio. You, you can't fight this. This is it's giving. I'm hearing I don't want nobody else but you. Ooh ah ah by Trey Songs. Nobody else but you. Ooh ah. They're like what's up? What's up with me and you? Right. Like there's no denying. Like okay. So with this Ace of Swords reverse, this is saying you better tell the truth. You better tell the truth. Also saying that somebody else will be cut out of the picture. Like it's like. Okay, I don't think there was anyone else in the picture, but it's kind of that energy of once I met Scorpio, I didn't need anyone else. Like I kind of, <laughs> Scorpio, y'all know y'all like that possessive ass shit, but it's kind of like, you know, I don't, I, look, the, the, the Queen of Swords popped out when I said that and she went back to, oh yeah, what I'm seeing is true, they're lovers. Like it's, it could be, um, could be a Jonai, but it's saying like, okay, Look, there she is again. They know what they want. They speak the truth. They know what they want. They are speaking the truth. This is, I feel like this is your doubt though. You sure you want this? Like, I don't know. Like, no. Are they telling me the truth? Yes. Moon card. You have to trust your intuition. Your, that your fears are going to surface. Your fears are going to surface. What I'm getting is Scorpio, you might have been thinking you were setting up for a situation where, um, you know, you kind of been there. You've spun the block a few times. Like, you know exactly what to what what's coming at you at all times you know how exactly how to work things but you never had this type of energy come at you this energy this energy you are not waiting for it it was waiting for you straight up and then it's going to be it's going to meet you or you're going to get an opportunity it's finally getting its opportunity and it's like okay let's go let's go now and you're like wait what i need more time mm -mm. you want to so you're going to try to slow this down <sighs> i'm not liking that scorpio Sometimes we have to take a chance. My mom used to say that to me. She was like, you plan and you plan and you plan and you plan, but when do you just take the leap? When do you trust yourself? When do you, when do you trust yourself and say, okay, you know what? Even if I fall, it might be worth the fall. I'm still gonna learn a lot. Um, my mom is a Capricorn and she used to, look, that's like Capricorn energy. She used to get everything. She used to accomplish every single goal and she was a planner and she was a step-by-step -step person. Yeah, because you can get you gonna leave yourself out in the cold. I knew it. 
Don't leave yourself out in the cold, Scorpio, because you don't want to admit you're like, this is a secret. Hey, big secret, I have money problems. Or, hey, big secret, I'm, I'm slow. Just tell them. I'm, I, I need steps. I need to build. Okay, well, whatever you want, Scorpio. Just don't deny me. Just share your emotions, please. I'll be your friend. I would like to be your friend first. I would like to build a friendship. Okay, whatever you say. Whatever you like. But this person is not liking that. That came out right over that. They're like, Ugh, just don't abandon me. So somebody's really excited about you, like a like childlike vision. Okay, good news though. Good news, you have some money coming in too. Somebody could help you. So this is saying this person could help you find a better job, dream job here, help you walk away from adversity, the bullshit, give you options and choices. This spirit wants you to share your whole life with this person. Don't be all mysterious and weird and come across shady. I was gonna say shady and shady is right here under the moon. Scorpio, you better tell them how you feel. They like you, they like your excitement. They like when you're excited. They like when you have ideas. They want to brainstorm with you. This person is stable. This person is everything you ever wish for. And if you're not single, this is how you've been, this is what you've been waiting for with your person. You've been waiting for it. You've been expecting this, but you weren't getting it. You're getting it now. There's some level of healing that's taken place within this kind of, so there was a separation here, moon card, whether you know this person or not, there was a dark night of the soul. And something was re revealed to people here. Generations, ancestors, maybe up with their family, Family um, karma, generational curses, all that was released. Now they're ready to play. But you're the one holding it back. Look, you're the one holding it back um, when this happens, okay? So it seems like somebody comes at you with an apology, Scorpio, and you might not be open to it. You were expecting this, but I don't, I think it's, I really think it's catching you off guard. So you might not feel like, you might have feel like in the past this person failed to invest or they, they didn't help you to grow in any way or you, you didn't want to be, you, you didn't feel it was on your path of growth. But they're saying like, no, you've changed now. They've changed now. Everybody's transformed now. And actually you transform them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, um, you changed me. Yeah, they watch you. And then you change them. You, you grow, they grow. That's yin yang. They don't want to do a drama anymore. They're no longer refusing to see. They don't want to hold back. They have a foundation now because of you that helps them like they can springboard off of and they want to and they want to continue this journey with you not apart um i'm gonna look at my bag of tricks let's see these are just channel messages i just love reading for my scorpios tell me what i show me what i need to see for my scorpios could be another scorpio here you have cancer you have pisces here uh, let's see what messages they have everything happens for a reason Okay, Scorpios, everything happens for a reason. Instantly healed. You know what I say? Like, don't even stay stuck in the past. That's all dead. You have, this, you have the death card. The past is dead. This is good news. It can be different now. World travel. What I say? They want to travel with you. Um, are you really gonna pass that up? Mm. Don't be, don't, don't be a lame. Don't be a lame duck. I mean, I'll also, if this is toxic, do not listen to anything I'm saying. This is not, this is not what we're talking about. We're not talking about toxic people. Commitment. Jason, yeah, this person is committed. What else we got from my Scorpios? Let's get in. Let's get a channel message. I'm guided to pull two more. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. I'll let you see. Which wants to come out from my Scorpios? Okay. I lied to myself. Yeah, that was that refusing to see. See that two of swords reverse. That's no longer refusing to see. Look at that. Um, what did you ca Queen of Swords came out, right? Cancel, cancel. Mm. I feel like Queen of Swords was under there and King of Swords just showed its face. So this is somebody y'all were thinking about each other. You both have a similar mindset. But somebody was not seeing that. Okay. And we have the hate is real, but it was reverse. So forget the haters. Okay. Forget the haters. Forget the haters, guys. Forget the haters i feel like you guys need another message all right we got money and we got kundalini Ooh! so you're about to have a rebirth with your money it's like your chakras are clear now no more blockages with money it comes with this person 
Oh, I like that. And I can't wait to see you again. I always send them for one more and then I pull another one. Okay. That was a great love reading. Let's just leave it there. Stay high vibe, guys. You're moving into calmer waters in your love life. You could be traveling. You're meeting somebody that's going to pressure you, wanting to be with you real fast, quick in a hurry, but commit because this is just an adventure of a lifetime. Ooh. Come on, let's do it. Okay, bye.